All right, traders, the, watch this video for Wednesday, May 9th. You can see the SPY here, fairly narrow range, very choppy. I'll show you five minute candles, very choppy on an intraday basis. This was the opening candle here, downside, then it took out new highs, then it took out the lows, and then ended up closing close to its highs. Um, you know, a lot of headline risk. Uh, there was rumors swirling, I think maybe worse than I've ever seen. Every five minutes, uh, the rumors were, we're going to, um, be out of the Iran agreement and then back in and then back out. It was crazy and the market just kept whipping all over the place. So uh, it made trading kind of difficult, but uh, ended up we closed above the open. So the um, market still feels bullish here. Let's go into the watch list for Wednesday. NIHD kind of flagging at the highs here. Pretty interesting over three. It hit three back here, it hit three today. And then you look to the left and there's, you know, 305 is the only thing kind of to beat now. So over three, this one's interesting. O-G-E-N, um, nice volume spike today and closed pretty strong. We'll see if we can get a follow through day in that one tomorrow. P-R-P-H, big volume spike for this stock, but I would note that that's still only 507,000 shares and closing well off its highs, um, but still something to watch here. Um, thin stock, but we're gonna watch it. V-T-V-T, um, I don't love this, but it seems to maybe have bottomed on this candle right here and trying to curl back up. You can kind of picture a trend line here. Um, not in love with that one at all. The only reason it caught my attention is because on an intraday basis, you had these two big volume spike, you know, these two big candles right here. Um, and it kind of had a nice pop on that. So um, let's leave it at that. I'm not in love with that one, but you know, I thought when I saw those spikes, I'm gonna put them on watch. C-H-E-K, I'm not in love with this one at all. Um, somebody PM'd me the other day and said, hey, is C-H-E-K, -E uh, I can't talk, C-H-E-K a potential short squeeze here if it gets going or are there too many longs underwater and i said the second one <laughs> you know everyone involved in this thing's underwater here um but for some reason they got this big pop today so it's kind of interesting to me over 470 tomorrow um believe me i'm not in love with this one at all but i do want to watch it amda um this one closed all the way at the highs right at the 200 day but in after hours it's actually trading at um Closed out after hours, it looks like around 386. So a lot of times when you have a strong close like that, um, you'll see it continue higher in after hours. I actually, let me bring this over here. Actually uh, kind of grabbed a couple uh, posts for mine in, in chat today. If you weren't in chat, um, you know, it, basically right around the same time, 1538, 1544, basically right around where this arrow is, I typed out AM, B, AMDA might be one of those after hours climbers. And I also typed out over 282 might push to new highs for the day. And uh, 282 was, I think, probably right there, and it came back down. So that was the 282 break right there, and it went all the way to 440 in after hours. Um, so it won't be on the results page because I didn't give it, hey, here's a trigger and stop, but I do want to, if you weren't in chat, I do want to share that I was at least giving ideas on these, and I was right about the uh, 1600, right about, let me follow this vertical line, right about there, I think, is where it closed. And so this is the after hours from here on. So I was right about the after hours climbers and I was right about the over 282. Um, anyway, with that strong close, we certainly want to watch it tomorrow. I'm going to put BLNK on watch again because it's like the strongest stock in the world. Uh, again, I slide this over. I did mention this flag right here that over this flag and I did catch a trade in it myself. That I talked about this fly tight flag with the high of day above. Um, so the flag break was probably right around 570. And you can see what it did. Went to 623 and then actually in after hours, um, this thing went almost maybe even over seven or right around to seven. Uh, it looks like it closed out around 650 in after hours. So another one, when you get a strong close, sometimes you get that after hours run. Now this has run huge for two days and probably over 100 million shares in two days, which is insane. Um, so it's a little bit um, tired now or crowded or whatever phrase you want to use. So, you know, be aware of that. It's not my favorite going to tomorrow, um, but did catch some nice ideas in it today. BKD um, kind of had this island down here and nice volume today. I believe they had earnings and a pretty strong move before closing at uh, 768. So let's keep our eyes on that one. RNN, you had the big pop here, two days lower on declining volume. Pretty good setup for a possible turn back up tomorrow. DARE had the pop here, then a gap up here, two red days back down into support. Not in love with this one, but worth watching for a turn back up tomorrow. Uh, E-A-R-S, ears. You had the big volume pop here, lower high, lower high on declining volume. Pretty good setup for a turn back up tomorrow. 
Remember, I don't hold overnight, so I'm only looking for intraday setups. Keep that in mind. Um, C-R-E-G. Nice pop here, then a gap up. Three red days after the gap up. Um, you know, back down to the 20 days. This is a pretty good setup also for a potential bounce tomorrow. And this one moved with CLWT, which basically has the same setup. Big pop, a few red days on declining volume. Watch this one for a turn as well. Um, you know what, that's plenty to watch, especially when we add uh, pre-market gappers in the morning to this list. So there should be plenty to trade tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening. We'll see everybody tomorrow.